Hi everyone, Happy New Year 2023. Here we are meeting again for our energy updates and this one is for January, the first month of this brand new year. I don't know what it is, but I think a lot of us get quite excited about the beginnings of things. And I think the beginnings of New Year's are always really, really important. But I think before that, it's also equally important to cherish the learnings and the achievements and be generous to yourself about the year that's just passed, the year that's helped you transform into something else, to more than, to have more wisdom, uh, more knowledge of self, more knowledge and interest and questions arising within you about this new world that's being born. Now, um, as I was tuning in for, <laughs> for the month of January, I was getting a, a really big arc, like a timeline of um, 20 years really from the moments in 2012 that many, 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 many people planted new seeds, new ideas of what they would want a new world to look like. And if you go with me on this, because I see it in a way of a play, so a theatre production. Okay, so let's imagine... <laughs> that you devised a story, a storyline that you planted in 2012. And so we're kind of like on this 20 year arc, we've just passed or passing, we're just passing this, this halfway point, the halfway point. And, uh, but in timeline way, um, Gaia has shown us we're really at that time where every, the story's known, it's now beginning to be prepared to go into theatre. Everybody knows their lines or is still learning them, really. But we know who the characters are in our play. And um, sometimes those characters get changed out through all sorts of reasons. But we know the majority of the characters in our own play. And uh, we know the story and we know what's going to happen. And we also know what kind of like um, environment and surroundings it's going to be. And we know the, the backdrops, everything else. So in terms of this timeline, this arc that uh, is being put through me today to share with you, then your life is at that point where you know all of those things. And 2023 is really the year where everything's being refined. Everything's being kind of finished off so that 2024 is the year where the curtain raises. You have your opening night where everybody kind of is supposed to know what they're doing. <laughs> but it's still not been tested yet. And so you test it all out. And then in the years to come, five, six, seven then it becomes a well-oiled new machine that's, you know that thing when you get something and it's new and you're not, and you're quite, you know, you don't quite know your way around it, but eventually with some passing of time and practice, it becomes, there's another layer of enjoyment and a lover, another layer of fruition that comes from practice and knowing something really well. So that's the kind of arc that we're in. And this play that we're talking about is your life and how it fits within the overarching cosmic theme. I'm going to be talking a lot more this year about galactic interest and the cosmic awareness stuff. So how it fits into the bigger, massive picture of, of cosmic plans, if you like. So anybody that's watching this video whenever it is is heart-based so it will really speak to you if you're uh, working with your heart you're um, wanting the uh, world that you're in to be a kinder version you're wanting the world that you live in to be more sensuous more creative more um, uh, exploratory in terms of community what does that really feel like in celebrating your uniqueness 
without knocking anyone else down or anyone taking a swipe at you. So it's for it's for people who are looking to um, enhance the courage within your heart, to sit within the wisdom of the heart and to take that leadership role with a fun, happy, ease, a patient way forward uh, but there's got enough fire in your belly to get out there and get things done so so there's quite a lot of energy that's being uh, surrounding this message you might be picking some of it up <laughs> oh my goodness do let me know and please put it in the comments field below so we can have maths about it but um you know it's okay if some of the stuff I talk about isn't for you. That's right too. It's it's sometimes it's just about timing, sometimes it's about the frequency. It can mean all sorts of different things, but just take from these videos what feels right at the time and know that they're there um, for you to access when you're right for that particular message at that time. And the reason I'm pointing that out is that that is going to happen a lot this year. This year is going to give you what I call timeline glitches. <laughs> OK, so it's sort of like um, going back to our theatre production. Uh, although the seed was planted all those years ago, it's come to fruition on a particular story. OK, but uh, during our planning phase, we had a variety of the stories you know there were there were other ideas about the middle bit and there were other ideas about the several different endings and there's several different ways of people reacting and acting with each other during those uh, preceding uh, times from creation to manifesting the go moment um so I want you to stay open to the fact that although this play is in production and everybody's near the opening moment, the opening night, that anything could still change. And you might drop into a different timeline, a different story that feels better to you at that moment to live that particular version. Or you might find yourself, um, you know, dropping into one that really doesn't feel like it fits. All of these things are correct, they're right, they're useful for you to uh, compare and contrast your experiences of human choices. So you're going to be making lots of different choices and you just want something to mm, consider. Is it the right one for you at that time? So you can change it if you need to. You're into those tweaking stages of that. So bear that one in mind because uh, that could lead practically to uh, things like deja vu experiences happening more. There's a big increase of that or just an example of feeling like, you know, you've been driving the same road for many, many years. You're very familiar with the road, with with all the roads off it, the various buildings that you pass. And suddenly one day you drive and you think, Just like that you're not quite sure it's sort of like as if you were experiencing it for the first time but you know you, <laughs> you know it's not it's not the first time if you get those sort of experiences you might look at your lover and think wow new version <laughs> it's like but same person oh what's going on it's sort of like all the different timelines are starting to well they have been separate up to now and we've been jumping between them but some of the timelines you're starting to call in because they're a bit blooming yummy. So they're staying with this current one, with this version of the play that you've written, divined, created, and are about to birth that particular part aspect of your life. So they're starting to merge. And again, we have choice with what we're focusing on at the time as to those that stay with us and those that can depart either very strongly <laughs> or gently up to you depending on, on what those particular aspects are that you're moving through okay so so the year is is uh if you like it's still a very fast year and it's very changeable and it's very informative and the truth has been coming out for a very long time we've spoken about that in previous videos a lot 
um, and that is still continuing. It will continue for the next 12 years or so, the truth rising. And kind of like each year has a different flavour to it. You know, we can look back on certain years and think, gosh, you know, um, the government leaders were all outed. Or, you know, we can look back and think, you know, um, all the neighbours were outed then or whatever it is. And as we're moving through these next three or four years, it's more about your own truth. So uh, it's about the truth of what you're really thinking, really feeling, really honouring, really ignoring. It's like all those things that you may have been ignoring for a while or uh, not being ready to, to look at certain belief structures, they're going to start to rise in you now. There's a lot of rising going on this year where there's, there's a power that's coming within us that's here to help us thrive and flourish. And if there's anything, any blocks on any level that uh, is stopping us from doing that, then uh, the energy is being really supportive in giving you the strength and the courage to have a really good look at that and make some decisions about whether or not it stays in your life or you change it. And there's so much help uh, within our world for helping you change those belief structures or heal or whatever modality works for you. But get some help if you need it. You know, this unity consciousness that we're in now is definitely celebrating your uniqueness, but it's also accommodating camaraderie, friendships, uh, deepening um, trust in yourself and those uh, people of your tribe, of your soul family that you can rely on and it's good to reach out and access that when needed. <laughs> okay, so. You've got some interesting dates coming up, okay? So during January, I'll bring it to January now, during this, this year, I get a real uh, sense that this full moon on the 6th is called the wolf moon. And it's really, the, all the moons are important, all the planets are important, the interaction between them all is, is important. But it's gonna be worth your while during that particular day um, of the full moon to cherish yourself. Okay, so it's the sixth. It's sometimes a busy social time. It's a very nurturing time. You know, if you use crystals or essential oils or um, anything to enhance your environment, to connect in with your intuition, then that would be amazing. The full moon's all about intuitive development anyway and um, well the moon is the cycle of the moon and it's all about connecting in with the heart space you know this year um the aquarian age is about it's an there are symbols and they're about the mind and um the there's always pluses and minuses to any particular element and any particular um every, everything really in a, a a sort of duality phase as we're moving through to the unity consciousness and uh, you want to watch out this year, particularly in January uh, to March, for any uh, time where your mind goes into fear, okay? So what we're going to be given is a massive amount of opportunity this year, like you've not known before, okay? <laughs> on the 22nd of Jan, mark that one in your diary. For those of you that want to be with me on that day, I know it's a Sunday. <laughs> but I've set up a soul gathering, which is a two hour Zoom session from two till four in the afternoon on the Sunday to gather with me. It's a very, very powerful day during this month of January. Um, and we'll be, uh, yeah, we'll be guiding you in specifics on that day. It, it, there's a lot going on between now and then. So um, I'll give you more information on that nearer the time. But basically mark your calendar for the 6th because that's very important for you. Nurturing yourself and socialising and being kind and surrounding your environment with wonderful yummy, yummy, yummy things. Self-care, self-nourishing, very important on that day. On the 22nd, a lot of the planets change. Things start to shift. So everything starts to move. It starts to move forward in a very dynamic, uh, crystalline way. So... <laughs> I would, I would, and am, 
going to take my time. I'm going to add a little bit of patience because it's going to be quite a fast year and 22nd or thereabouts the planets all go in a forward motion. There's nothing retrograde and it, that's going to last for months. So the energy that comes up to make you get up and go and get your goals all lined up and, and move things forward into fruition, it, there will be a strong force behind that. So if I were you, I would take <laughs> these three weeks as a time to add a real big dollop of patience into that environment, into that cauldron of alchemy that all of these elements sit within and just take a little bit of time for yourselves to be the alchemist. Add some patience in there so you can really revel and enjoy this breath, this deep breath moment of stillness, of receiving information about your life from the cosmos, of, of just sitting within these moments of transformation and change, of this pause between the doing. Because on the 22nd, the light codes, the different uh, arrangement of the cosmos is sitting something uh, large, something big, big pivotal events start to click off and go into place and it's a bit like dominoes they all set each other off and off we go so um the time from the 22nd for the rest of this month some of you not for everybody but some most people will start to feel like they want to get up and do things and um achieve things and meet with people and get more sociable or or change things in a big massive way and that could be an internal change you know it can be um, that you you take a course on mindfulness. It might be that you change the foods that you eat. It might be that you you pick up with some old friends and sort some stuff out. It will be active. It, it doesn't mean you're up and off and moving and a shaking and a rocking and rolling. Although that is true for some of us, but <laughs> it could just mean very personal changes to you that have by the end of the year quite a massive effect even though they might seem like they're small changes now but you will want to you well i would suggest you take um, advantage of that particular energy and use it to your advantage but as i say on my website carolcomer.com under webinars you'll find soul gatherings and the one for january it's £22 for the two hours. I'm keeping the price the same for the rest of this year. So that's a nice exchange where, yeah, we can actually meet and see who wants to speak through me with you and see what the updates are then. Um, getting a bit of a reminder of this play business going on and, and your own higher version of yourself, okay? So um, during this next three weeks, while you're contemplating things and certainly between now and the full moon you know if you were writing your own play of your own ideal divinely given life what would it be you know where would it be where would you be living uh you know who would be sharing your life what kinds of people would be sharing your life who are your tribe who would you like to invite in? Um, who are you if you accept what it is to be with ease and in the perfect moment? Who are you if you believe that everything is arriving in your sphere of existence for the perfect reasons? Who are you? if you're living your divine truth, your highest version of yourself, your unity conscious self. Because now is the time we're here. The unity consciousness is available. It's up to us to align with that, to choose it. It's all about choice. The next year or so is about choice. Very, very much about choice. Choosing every little microcosmic decision that you make has a massive effect on your life. I mean, 
if there are uh, responses with people that you think, oh, I don't, I just don't like that response in me that I get when I'm with that person or I'm with that person or I'm watching that TV programme or I'm listening to that radio thing, you know, it's like never about that. It's about you and it's about what's going on inside of you. Have a look in. Don't be afraid to really go in and have a look at what actually has been triggered there, has been nudged, has been poked by that action. What is it in you? Because if you're dissatisfied with that reaction, you're not dissatisfied with the person or the program or whatever, although you could be as well, of course, but there's some sort of dissatisfaction in you about how you're responding to that aspect of life. Even if it's just to get clarity on, that's a no for me. <laughs> I don't like that anymore. I don't like those sort of programs anymore. I don't want it in my life. I want something different. You know, that particular nugget of treasure of information, it might sound very simple, but if you're being annoyed, if you're being, um, uh, you're finding yourself in unharmonious emotional vibrations, if you're in any of that gunk, it's because there's messages coming up from inside. It's soul language and it's body language and your body your language is trying to communicate with you that things just ain't right. Something's definitely a mess and you need to listen. January is the listening month. In fact, January to March, major, major, major aspects of listening. You need to, we call it sacredly listen. You need to really listen to what your body and emotions is trying to tell you. So if you've been getting peed off with a certain person or a certain activity or a certain TV program or something, and you're still watching it and you're still, you know, not asking yourself the real questions, the body's language, the soul language will just get louder <laughs> until you do listen. And then when you listen, you pick up the information that the answer is really simple. Why on earth was I staying with that dissatisfaction all of that time without just going? Change the channel. Uh, disassociate oneself from that behaviour or whatever it happens to be. So the more we can get better at listening and sacredly from the best part of ourselves, from the heart-based part of ourselves, then the more we listen each and every day to the minutiae responses that are within us to various outward lives that we have, then the less volume is needed from the body, from the disharmonious states that grow within us because we've heard it right from the get-go and if we've heard it at the beginning we can change it, we can use that energy. It's frequency, it's vibration at the end of the day, it doesn't go away, it transforms so we can use that into creation, into the best colour palette for our theatre play ever invented. We can use that for transformation within our own lives for the best version of ourselves and our own life. Does that make sense? What do you reckon? Write to me about this stuff. Um, so if you listen sacredly within, so the first thing is, is just to go within, have a little conflag with yourself and on the sixth, do all the self-nurturing bits, take these three weeks to really develop the art of sacred listening within yourself, not to any external stuff. Although the external stuff is very helpful if it triggers you, if you find you're pushing something away, if you're resisting something, if things are, you know, you're getting emotionally um, shifted into a different state, then have a look within you why that is and use one of the many 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 tools to transform that into something that you feel is more in line with the frequency that is dominant at this moment in time for you 
and that is not comparable to any other human being it's very much an inside job and the universe is definitely supporting you in that um risk of attempt to transform things into something yummy i would go for the yummy each and every time uh, whenever you possibly can okay so yeah so from the 22nd to the end um, of january that's definitely the time if anything's there that you want to get going with and take action with because you've spent time practicing this art of sacred listening within yourself for your own reactions to things then it'll be much easier for you to use your intuition as well as your strong minds your will and your fire energy to come up and assist you bringing those plans into amazing fruition because i tell you this year this year you need to be prepared to be astounded okay you really need to be prepared to be astounded other years are going to get even bigger on that but there are um sometimes i've seen over the last few years windows of reflections of, of what i call heaven on earth okay where people are really generous towards each other where uh we we really do l take that art of listening to ourselves to other people and to the land and to the oceans of the world and the other beings that are here and the animal kingdom so on and so forth and they've been glimpses they've been reverent visits well um there's various alignments that happen in the planets and we've had one that lasted about 10 days what i would call a 10 day unity consciousness experience you're going to have one of those from this 22nd of January right the way through to sort of around the 23rd of March. And then there's another load of information that comes through then that kicks off things all the way through to May, early June and mid June. It's all changeable. It's all one big feast of options and opportunities this year. But you really have to watch your mind energy. The age of Aquarius is here. That means it's good, it, you know, Aquarians want world peace. We want community led <laughs> stuff. So <Soul> family. <laughs> we want everyone to thrive. But the, uh, the shadow side of the Aquarian age is mindfulness of mind over um, others. And it's also about uh, fear. It's about, <gasps> Ooh, you know, um, I've just dreamt into being, I've been the dream weaver and I've just dreamt an amazing life for myself and I'm starting to actually see it come together. Boom, in comes the fear or in comes the responses for things that have been locked within of who are you to have that? What about this? What about that? You get you, the can'ts, the shoulda, woulda, coulda club. So do not be afraid of that happening it's just part of the great big galaxy of yumminess of alchemy of of lots of different variants of frequencies that's all it is or is it and that is the choice for you to be making this year and it kicks off this month very strongly from the 22nd so it's more a case of you know go with those expansive opportunities and uniqueness of this uh, oh, yumminess the seven number the you know it's a seven number year so it's all about it's the first number of heaven if you like it's all about spiritual development so it's and that means development of the heart the heart based reactions in life and so when you get those fears come up oh do something wonderful with them again transform it into something else give it a big kiss and a cuddle and say yeah i know that you're frightened for, for for me to be successful i know that you're frightened of me having it all i know that you're frightened for me to uh, risk it for more joy more happiness more contentment but i'm going to do it anyway <laughs> and see how your life transform so that's the kind of energy that's actually here um interspersed with many other different things during this year but january is here for you to create your listening skills please 
be aware of that sixth and the 22nd and really, really, really optimize those dates to your heart's content. I pulled some cards before I began for this particular month. So this is, uh, this is the month's energies. One is from Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn and it's the Maple Spirit and it's generosity. So just feel the vibes of that, of you taking in the generosity of this beautiful maple tree here, the maple spirit, and for you becoming the generous one, for you becoming the generous one. There's four cards. The second one is from Kyle Gray's Gateway of Light Activation cards, and it's about your stellar gateway activation. Now, most of us know about the seven chakra system and we work on the 12 to 13 one and the stellar gateway therefore is a good three, four feet above your crown chakra, above the top of your head. And it's it's got sort of um, doorways into your cosmic being and uh, it says infinite potential enter the manifestation vortex. So that's the picture of that one. It's like pyramids and various things. Infinite potential. So we've had this. Notice generosity and be the generosity. And here, enter your own portal, your own magnificence of mind and body and heart into infinite potential and manifestation vortex. Rebecca Campbell's pack, Work Your Light, brought up for us the mirror card and who or what is triggering you. And we've talked about that a little bit today with regards to using that information about your own internal triggering to transform it into something else. So that's a reminder. It's a reminder of your emotional field and your, and your mind working with you for your own creation of your ideal life. Last but not least is from Colette Baron reeds um, Spirit Animal card and we've got the Butterfly Spirit and the words along with that is transformation is beautiful. So you know when you're going through those sticky wicky moments, <laughs> remember on the other side of that, that transformation is beautiful you know and you are transforming transformation is inevitable for the human evolution mo movement now we are moving a lot of the powers to the people and you'll see that over the next several years so every single person is so 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 important you are really really important and uh, you know, if ever you get you get a bit sort of bogged down with the outward world, then go inside and create the world you want into being within your own mind, within your own feelings, within your own physicality, within your immediate environment, all the things that you can do for yourself. Do those things. Trust, hope and wish. And let's see what the universe then transpires, changes, brings you. And yeah, do consider being part of my soul family and come along to that webinar. Um, it's recorded on Zoom so you can access it anytime, even if you don't want to be live. And uh, we are completely and utterly relaxed in the sense that you don't even have to come on the video if you don't want to. It really is go with the flow and whatever you need, you take and the rest will sit there for when you're ready to receive it. Okay, my loves, would you please <laughs> subscribe if you want to hear more of these, hit that like button and the notification bell and that helps with all of the lovely YouTube fam family keep on growing. Um, on a selective basis. You can unsubscribe also if you wish to, anytime. 
Okay, my loves, lots of love, lots and lots and lots of love. See you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>